This Might Get Weird. Hi, everyone. Grace Helbig here of the This Might Get Weird podcast, in which you are currently listening. This is not normally how we start out these podcasts. You all know. Uh, May Marie and I have been traveling in different routines over the last week, so this is a pre-recorded second half of last week's episode. And we just wanted to do this little um, heads up to let you know, in case you didn't listen to last week's episode, which you should have. What the fuck are you doing go do that because that might inform some of the things that we talk about in this episode but nonetheless uh every episode is standalone and wonderful and special and unique and you should tell all of your friends enemies family members that they should listen as soon as they can uh that said welcome to part two of last week's episode of this might get weird with myself grace helbig and mamory hart um can I tell you? You can tell me anything. We're best friends, but we can edit it out if it's too juicy. No, that <laughs> I was hoping your birthday gift would be delivered by now. Oh, shit. Uh, Don't tell me what it is. Well, I wanted you to open it up on this oh, podcast. Oh, damn. It's supposed to be delivered by, I guess, 9 p.m. tonight. Oh, shit. And you're going out of town tomorrow. Well, that's why I've been like uh, refreshing to see if oh, it's been damn. delivered. Well, can I tell you a couple things that Chip got me? A hundred percent. I think you should tell me and everyone else that's well, listening oh, and watching. Well, while we're recording, I guess I'll let them in on it, too. No, he's wonder, he, uh, wonderful. He got me w- great things and he's very thoughtful. But he also got me um, a couple like useful gifts. Oh, whoa. Um, what are those like? <laughs> yeah, he got me like some tinfoil. Yeah, <laughs> some yes, exactly. Some new toothpaste. Yeah. Um, He got me, you know, I've been using that ranky jank plug in from Walgreens coaster to keep my coffee hot yes because i have never i have not had a microwave as an adult like i just didn't in my 20s and now i'm like i don't want to use up counter space but i like hot coffee (laughs) i like hot coffee so he got me this mug Uh that the bottom you unscrew and you like straight up charge it with a usb and then you put it there and you can control what temp you keep your coffee from your fucking phone too it's much. crazy. That's too much. Well, you can just say like keep it warm, but it just looks like a mug, but it just like keeps itself. So it's warm. another Bluetooth like remote control of something. That's insane. Yeah, it's amazing. So I could. Have not, you tried it? yet? I haven't yet. It's still okay. in the box because I got them like right before I left. But so I could sit here and I don't have to have that dumb ass thing. It just looks. <laughs> it just looks like a regular coffee mug. So we can record from anywhere now. I don't have to Wait, be within <laughs> three feet of an outlet to record this podcast in the morning. You guys wonder why we're in this back house. It's uh, only because Mamrie needs her coffee. Killed hot. it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> he also got me, which I love, 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 love. Um, I'm obsessed with Fordite. Do you know what that is? Fortnite? Fordite. F-O-R-D-I-T-E. Fordite. Nope. Okay, I'll tell you. Fordite is essentially, and he got me like this big block of it. Fordite is essentially from the old Ford uh, factory. Okay. From where they spray all the cars, uh-huh. there's there's walls and edges that then just get layer and layer and layer and layer and layer and layer of paint. Mm-hmm. So they actually can chunk it off and it looks like a huge, Google image Fordite right now. It looks like, like this gorgeous piece? layered gem. On Fordite. The, like Ford, like the car. I T E. Uh I T E. Um, okay. F O R D I T E. Yeah, I mean you're saying something that could be spelled twelve thousand times. Sorry, ways. Ford like the car I <laughs> and it's just really cool and I've always wanted a piece of it oh. because there's a limited amount of it. Whoa, okay. Also known as Detroit Aggie or, or Aggie or uh Motor City Aggie. Uh it's an automated paint which is hardened sufficiently to be cut and polished. So I have one that's like nine hundred layers. Whoa, it was formed from the buildup of layers of enamel paint slag mm-hmm. on on tracks and skids on which cars were hand spray painted told you uh, which have been <laughs> baked numerous times in recent times the material has been recycled okay. into jewelry yeah well if, if you go back and you google image it he just got me like a raw chunk of it cool so it's almost like a bookend so i love it because sometimes i'll reference i'll be like oh i like when people say they beat their face i'm like my face is a piece of fordite right now it's like 900 layers of makeup and so i love it so i thought that was a really thoughtful gift because he loves cars (gasps) and i love that like cool fun thing yeah also these images if you guys google image search fordite all one word uh it's insanely beautiful yeah so i love that but here's the kicker uh oh! I'm flying to Australia on Saturday. Yes. And that's why this podcast is. We're probably in, we're in the second half now. Yeah. Um. So by the time you're hearing this, I'm already in Australia. But he got me 
the thing that you talked about. What? What? The neck thing for <gasps> sleeping on a, a plane. A turtle? He got you a TRTL? Dude. He got you a TRTL. Now you guys know this is a real thing. For those that are watching on the This Might Get YouTube channel, youtube.com slash this might get, you are seeing Mamrie in real time turning, turning, turning on this I'm turtle. Turning. I'm also turning because I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, have you tried to sleep face yes. first? Okay, so we talked about it. <laughs> This is a thing you put under your neck that's like a concave thing. So because I fall asleep and Thank then my you, head drops. Chip. My head drops and so now I can just completely fall asleep like I'm wearing a neck brace. Like a full, but I have to give It's credits. incredible. I have to give credit to Nikki Glazer who promoted this on her oh, Instagram really? story and she was like, I know this seems stupid, but it helps so much and she travels all the time I'm and then so excited I about it. full on yeah, ordered that. Because I never like with a regular neck donut I, n- I don't want to sleep kink to my left or kink to my right. I want to oh, sleep head down every also, time. I sleep when I put my head back. You know, you've yeah. videoed me and like I gape mouth like I mm. need to have my jaw yeah. shut. <laughs> I wanted to throw a lot of shit in there before. Hey, haven't been able to. Um, but so I thought those were like, that's a great gift. Some good youth, youthful, useful, not youthful. It was my 36th. Um, I saw a great bumper sticker today. I love that you're still refreshing your Amazon orders. I know, I'm like, it's gonna get <laughs> it's gonna get delivered an hour after we. Damn, uh, you can stay and hang out. Um, I saw a bumper sticker today on the way home from the airport that said, <laughs> "Oh, it said, don't tailgate me. I'll flick a booger on your windshield. <laughs> don't, don't, don't tailgate me. I'll flick a booger on your windshield. Like if you drive too close, I'm gonna flick a booger on your windshield. I." Wanted to see if she'd really do it. <laughs> that's you know, what I, mean. I feel like that's not a threat. I'm that's like, a challenge. Put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Actions speak louder than bumper stickers. Yeah, totally. I want to see that bug. Also, yeah. How uh, irregularly are you bl- blowing your nose that you got? Stuck? You just have bugs on deck. <laughs> or how strong is your flick? If you know it's gonna stick, like because if you're flowing, <laughs> if you're going, now you're just making a new bumper sticker. <laughs> you're just making another bumper sticker. <laughs> if you're a dick, I will flick, and it will stick, you prick. Um, if you don't think I can flick, watch it stick. <laughs> uh, and then you're gonna lick. No, but if you can flick a booger, like driving on a highway, and it sticks to a windshield, like that's like. F- a butterfly in a hurricane. You know, that's a lot of wind. But that's also like, we recently said this on Brittany Furlan's podcast of how we got spit on in a taxi cab. Yeah. And that honestly, like, great directional, like, mm-hmm. that's impossible to but do. But a booger? I, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Anyway, I <laughs> like we said, I am now in my later half of 30s <laughs> and I'm still getting surprised by bumper stickers. So I was extremely excited to uh... see that bad boy fucking rocked okay <laughs> the because i knew we were podcasting like a longer version tonight obviously yeah. and we both have been like we don't know exactly how many stories we have yeah. i looked up a couple quizzes uh, okay uh, tell tell me i thought we were gonna re- retire quizzes after i pranked you so hard in dallas well now, now i need to get back to what they're made for which is the boring truth. our audience well <laughs> Just kidding. Therefore, I listened to. There was it. just one bitch on a review on her iTunes that was like, "I hate animals." Oh, great! Yeah. I'd love to talk to her. Yes, at totally. About what she enjoys <laughs> in the rest of the world. Uh, we don't have to take any. No, no, no. I want to read. I want to read the. What are the different ones? Here are your options. Ready? Okay. Build a fall aesthetic, and we'll guess your age and height. Okay, but not wait. Eat a bunch of food and we'll tell you which decade you should have been born in. Mm, hmm And those are the only oh. two. <laughs> because the rest are about a bunch of TV shows that we don't know anything about and a bunch of like, you know. Here's what I'm going to say. And we yeah. have friends at BuzzFeed. Yeah. Their <gasps> quizzes are getting lazy. Okay. Do you want to find out if you're the Kermit or Miss Piggy in your relationship? No, because I know I'm Miss Piggy. Well, then, okay. <laughs> Never mind. And that's all my notes for the no. podcast. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It was just because one of the quiz was pictures. And the other quiz, that's bullshit being like, we'll tell you what you should have been born in. It's like you're supposed to be magic. Oh, no. That's why I want to figure out if we can, like, uh, assume a certain age that we're going to try and pretend what they would assume were. I am confused at what you just said. That's every BuzzFeed feed. 
<laughs> the, I want to see if we could ask BuzzFeed if we could collab on a quiz. Oh, yeah. Have you ever taken the Are You Grace Mamrie or Hannah quiz? I have. That was, oh, Mems. That was oh, so fun. So long ago. Um, can I tell you a fact? Sure. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. First of all, <laughs> yeah. speaking of pictures of things. Okay. Did you see Britney Spears Instagrammed mm-hmm. earlier this week? And it was just a stock image photo yeah. of peanut yeah. butter cup ice cream and the caption was, give me more. And then she also didn't crop out the full stock image photo. There was, <laughs> did you not see that there were letters at the bottom of it? No. Yeah, because this is how much I know that Elliot loves me is that he <laughs> was the one oh. that brought it to my attention. He goes, because oh. I talk about it so much. I can see Elliot be like, have you seen and he it, goes, Grace? Have you seen that there's some, the tops of letters at the bottom of it that oh, she no. like hasn't cropped out? Oh, I love it. Look, I know the but Britney I, Spears is like a tough <sighs> balance because she's clearly going through it. But I just love when it's just a stock photo yeah but you see all these little black oh you can see the <laughs> yeah. letters we're like Brittany we know you didn't all of a sudden get a better camera and take this stunning picture of uh, peanut butter cup ice cream <laughs> I love it Today we got some support from DoorDash. Do you have a long day at work, a tough day at school, still stuck at the office? Well, then treat yourself to a meal that you deserve. Have your favorite restaurants come to you with DoorDash. They connect you with your favorite restaurants in your city. Ordering is easy. You open the app, you choose what you want to eat, and your food will be delivered to you wherever you are. I mean, how much easier can it get? Not only is your favorite pizza joint already on DoorDash, but there's over 340 thousand restaurants in 3,300 cities. If you're a number person, crunch those numbers. Don't worry about dinner. Let dinner come to you with DoorDash and with Door uh, to Door Delivery in all 50 states. Again, they have Door to Door Delivery in all 50 states and Canada. You can order from your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Cheesecake Factory. The Cheesecake Factory is available, and right now you guys can get $5 off your first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code TMGW. That's $5 off your first order when you download the DoorDash app from the App Store and enter promo code TMGW. One more time, promo code TMGW for $5 off your first order from DoorDash. If you're still using one of the, quote, big wireless providers in 2019, have you asked yourself, what are you paying for? Between expensive retail stores, inflated prices, and hidden fees, you're being taken advantage of because they know you'll pay. Enter Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile provides the same premium network coverage that you're used to, but at a fraction of the cost because everything is online. Mint Mobile saves on retail locations and overhead, then passes those savings directly to you. They make it easy to cut your wireless bill down to just 15 bucks a month. Every plan comes with unlimited nationwide talk and text. And with Mint Mobile, stop paying for unlimited data that you'll never use. Choose between plans with 3, 8, or 12 gigabytes of 4G LTE data. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same number along with all of your existing contacts. Ditch your old wireless bill and start saving with Mint Mobile to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash TMGW. Again, that's mintmobile.com slash TMGW. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash TMGW. Um, oh, here's what I want to tell you, though. Yes. Look, guys, we're going to cut to a story right now of from our summer tour Mm -hmm. grace and i each told um different stories about when we'd felt dumb in the summer yes Uh, we each told a pool story so this is my pool story of when uh i think it's summer of 1994 i'm not sure but uh (laughs) you'll hear all you'll hear all about it here you are it was 1994 summer the biggest hit on the radio was sir mix a lot's baby got back And my back and my front looked like a back because I was 11. (laughs) Um, I grew up in a really small town with one stoplight called Boonville, North Carolina. And um, Boonville, North Carolina, Yakin County. Um, (laughs) Two more white claws and that's how I sound. 
And it was idyllic. It was like a Norman Rockwell painting. It was so quaint and safe and beautiful and fucking boring. Like, so boring. Like, I wish school was back in session because there wasn't shit to do. I would wake up at 7 a.m. after a long night's sleep because my fear of mortality had not yet creeped in yet and I actually slept. Um, I'd wake up at 7. I'd, like, jump on my trampoline, rollerblade, ride my bicycle. No hands, bitch. I was that chick. I would, um, I'd draw greeting cards and sell them door-to-door to old ladies to take advantage of their money. I would, I'd go into the woods and play my favorite game, Homeless. <laughs> You guys know the one? (laughs) I knew I was going to have a career in the arts and I just had to be prepared, okay? The only time I actually had a good, fun day in the summer was once a week when I got to go to the community pool. Oh! Who here was a community pool person? Yes. Who here, like, was part of a country club or, like, a membership pool? Yeah, you can say it. No, we're all friends here. Who here had their own pool? What was it like to not know if people genuinely liked you? Because I know I really like Joanna Sizemore every May. And what poor bastards were sprinkler kids? (laughs) Fucking sprinklers, man. For people who like stub toes and being kind of damp. Like you might as well just talk to a kid with a bad lisp. As fun. Because of the sprinkling, not... They're great people. So, fuck. That was an ad lib. <laughs> no, every so often, I was like, well, here's the deal. I was best friends with my neighbor next door, Lauren, and her mom was a stay-at-home mom. My mom would be teaching summer school because she was a teacher and she worked non-fucking stop. But, like, once a week, we could annoy her mom enough to bring us to the pool. And there was one faded day that I knew was going to be really special because Lauren and I convinced her mom to take us to the pool. And already it was off to a crazy start because on the way there, on our little two-lane road, we were 10 miles from the pool, by the way. This is why it took so much convincing. We're on our way there. And we pass a cop on the other side, and her mom pulls over and has me pour out her apple juice. I didn't know what that meant. I thought it was just illegal to drink anything in a car for three years. I was like, what the fuck are these cup holders? This is entrapment. Anyway, we make it there alive, and we do what we always do at the pool. Like, Lauren was really good at gymnastics, so she'd be doing, like, backflips, and she could actually dive. Still can't do it to this day. (laughs) She was a little, like, Dominique Mucciano at the edge of the pool, right? I was there for two reasons. Number one, the concession stand, bitch. Okay? I had $10 when it was, like, a pool day that my mom would leave me. And I know it was $2 to get in the pool, and then I took that $8 concession stand, and I would haggle with that teenager like I was in a spice market in Marrakesh. Okay, I needed that microwaved Mama Celeste personal pan. That really shitty popcorn, white cheddar. I needed Airheads. They were only 20 cents a piece. Y'all know Airheads? You eat like five of them and then you just have a softball of taffy and you're like, why can't I shit? (laughs) I wasn't really into swimming, mainly because if you guys heard that episode of the podcast where I had to take a swim test in college and I couldn't wear my glasses because I had to... Yeah, swimming, legally blind is scary. And I was just as blind when I was a kid, so when I'd be convinced to go into the pool, I'd just be in the corner, like, doggy paddling. And every time the lifeguard blew his whistle, I'd be like, I'm sorry, sir, just in case it was me. It was so scary. So I'd basically eat every 20 minutes, so that way I'd be digesting and I didn't have to get in the pool. But this fateful day, the second reason I came to the pool happened, and that is seeing boys. Because when you go up in the country... When you say goodbye on the last day of school, you don't know when you're seeing this motherfucker again, okay? You don't know because this was pre-Facebook, pre-Instagram. You didn't know if your crush was on a Disney cruise. You weren't seeing him till September, okay? You weren't seeing the meet and greet with Mickey. But on this day, we looked over. I had a blue airhead just hanging out of my tongue, my mouth, like I was Bean's fucking heart. And sure enough, my crush walked in. His name, Steel Norman. That was his actual name. He was one grade above me. His name was Steel Norman, and he was neither a welder nor a porn star. Like how, what kind of vibes does a baby have to give off to be like, that's a Steel fucking Norman right there? And I knew his mom too, because his mom was the drive-through teller at the one bank in our town. And when I'd go through with my mom, you know how they give you like a dumb, dumb lollipop? She gave me two, bitch. I was like, well, look who's trying to fatten up her future daughter-in-law for pregnancy. Okay. 
So anyway, Steele was there, and I was like, holy shit. Hold on, let me put on my glasses. Holy shit, it is him. And Lauren's like, let's go talk to him. I'm sorry, what? Are you stoned from the adrenaline of being able to dive, you cunt? <laughs> she goes, no, Mamrie, he walked in with Justin King. Now, Justin King had a twin sister that we were friends with, so we'd spent the night at his house. So we'd seen that motherfucker in PJs. We had leverage. Okay? He'd played house with us. I braided his hair once. He wasn't gonna squawk. So I'm like, all right, let me just finish this airhead. Let's do this. We walk over to Steel Norman. I'm just really filling out my Gap Kids extra small. <laughs> Which, by the way, I thought I was full like Chrissy Teigen in that. I was like, mm-hmm. So we walk over and we start chatting with the boys and it's going really well. And I'm like, Steele doesn't know who I am. Maybe he thinks I'm like an eighth grader at a different school because this is a county pool. This is Switzerland. You know, he doesn't know that I'm a dork at his own school. So we're chatting and they start talking about the song Baby Got Back, right? They start rapping it. Just to refresh your memory, here's the beginning of that. Hit it. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Okay. So they start talking about it, and then Steele starts rapping, and he goes, when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get spermed. <laughs> you get spermed. And I'm like, oh. oh my God. Everyone dies laughing. Lauren's laughing. All the boys are laughing. My head is thrown back, just giggle, giggle, giggle fest, until I look back and Lauren turns to me and goes, do you even know what that means? Oh. It was a fucking betrayal like a Shakespearean tragedy. I was like, this fucking Judas. <laughs> so, I, you know, I did what anyone did with pride. I, um... <clears throat> I laughed it off. I looked at her and I said, you know what, Lauren? My pizza's ready at the concession stand. <laughs> and I ran off as fast as I could. I got my pizza. I like ate it in the bathroom. I called my mom to pick me up because once again, apple juice. You know, like I was being safe. <sighs> I went home and I pulled out the S, Encyclopedia Britannica, <sighs> which led me to the P. And it's like, who here saw their first dick in an Encyclopedia Britannica? <laughs> I'm just saying, it's a way to, t it's like counting rings on a tree. You can tell someone's age. <laughs> and I saw that penis in there. And I realized I wasn't ready to be a fifth grader and, and I wasn't gonna be with Steele, no. I decided that instead I was gonna take a chance, which was the name of his younger brother, <laughs> who was a year below me and who I knew I could get. And that day was the third most embarrassing time of my childhood. Number two was when I would go back to that Encyclopedia Britannica so much that my mom asked me why there was a bookmark in it. <laughs> and number one is when I just kicked panties out of my pants in front of 450 people. This week we have some support from Function of Beauty. You guys all know, Mamrie and I talk about our hair all the time it's very different we all don't have the same hair so why should we all use the same shampoo and conditioner function of beauty brings you shampoos and conditioners that are customized and individually filled just for you most drugstore brands only address a single concern like volumize or strengthen but with function of beauty you can choose up to five hair goals to add to your formulation you select your color and fragrance uh, you can opt for dye free and fragrance free they also never use sulfates, parabens, phthalates, you, if you guys care about phthalates, you know how to say it, mineral oils, or any other harmful ingredients. Uh, the sad reality is that most drugstore brands test on animals, but Function of Beauty is 100% vegan and cruelty-free, and they have over 20,000 five-star customer reviews and counting. I currently have a shampoo and conditioner sitting in my shower right now, which I use very often because it makes me feel like a fancy, personalized shopper woman that cares about 
about her hygiene more than I let on. And so I highly recommend if you have very specialized hair needs, they have the special mix just for you. And guess what? On top of that, you will receive 20% off your first order. To redeem this, just head to functionofbeauty.com slash TMGW. Take their hair profile quiz. Go to functionofbeauty.com slash TMGW. Take the quiz. Get 20% off your custom formula. Again, 20% off your first order by going to functionofbeauty.com slash TMGW. Wow, what a story. Uh, speaking of ice cream. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and pizza and airheads and boners. Um, but here's the thing. It's Grace's bit had visuals to it. Yes. That, so we, couldn't, we can't play it here because you'd need to see the payoff of the yeah. visuals. But one of the visuals was the honeycomb guy. Yes. The briefly employed <laughs> honeycomb maniac. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know how to describe him other than um, like gritty meets Guy Fieri meets mm. like electrical outlet meets mm. like, you know, myself currently. <laughs> oh, so good. But I learned that that honeycomb spokesman's name was The Craver. That's his actual name. That's his or na- its actual its name. Its actual name is The Craver. Okay. And he was voiced, get this, by the same man who's the Kool-Aid man. Wait, what? Both of them had voices? <laughs> yeah, because the honeycomb guy was like, I want to honeycomb. Wow, I could. That, that was Are freakish. you sure you're not The Craver? <laughs> that was freakishly good. That was freakishly good. And he was voiced by a man named Frank Sims, who's also the Kool-Aid man. Wow. And also sang backup on several David Bowie songs. I fell into a big old hole this This afternoon. This is when texted me going, I don't have any stories. I'm going to look up some stuff to talk about. But I was like, it was just crazy. (gasps) That's nuts. Wait, so his claim to fame is the Craver. Or is is the Kool-Aid man, I think, is more... Yeah, obviously popular than the craver yeah. yeah is the kool-aid man still like an actual uh mascot yeah i think he is okay the i don't think kool-aid has to advertise anymore maybe they do I, they, I, don't. But I feel like they advertise on like stations we don't actually stations see, on channels we don't actually listen to well see that's what i'm curious about it's like mm. who's the major mascot now because well, mascots- it's definitely kool-aid Oh, you mean like in general? In general. Oh, like, yeah. Like, you know, like, are there child, like, children's mascots? Because I know we, like, grow up and then there's, like, the, uh, uh, what's the Old Spice, like, making fun of mascots and that whole thing. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, what is, Who are the like, big? the younger generation mascots? Or is that now, like, an, a non-thing because YouTube exists? <laughs> well, I think the mascots of cereal days, they all remain the same. Yeah. They're yeah. all the same General Mills. But yeah, I don't know. Like, you know, the short-lived ones of like the Dunkaroo kangaroo. Like he was a badass. Oh. But then Dunkaroo's like, you know, hit the skids. Okay. I'm looking up most popular mascot or most popular food mascot 2019. <laughs> Do you think they have award shows? I That would be an amazing thing to attend. Um, If they can have the Webbies, they can have the Truly. <laughs> oh, my God. They have to, or even just like mascot awards for uh, for sports teams. Oh, like man. Like their version of the ESPYs. Oh, because, uh, yeah, Gritty's birthday. I saw. Uh, yeah. He's a poet. I, I, did, I, you, did you read the poem? Yeah. He only talks in like riddles and poems. See, I've never actually listened to Gritty speak. He doesn't speak. But. That I've heard. He doesn't speak, but he's, he released a poem earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> So he, he doesn't speak, but he's somehow the poet laureate of Philadelphia. Uh, yeah, which doesn't take much. But <laughs> right. Oh, epic burn. No, I love where I'm kind of near from. T- he uh, said 10 hours ago, Gritty said. Yeah, I retweeted this and I said, Gritty and I are both Libras. This makes so much sense. I'm reading it to the audience. Yeah, you might not have seen that. <laughs> Today is my birthday. Today I become one with my city. Today I walk amongst the Grittisons. Today I walk through Philadelphia, river to river, and summit Dr. Balboa steps. For you, but really for me, HBD to me. Gritty. I mean, it's rocky, gritty, and yeah. Wow, gritty. Beautiful. And he said, yeah, he speaks in internet speak. 
I he love doesn't it. have a note. Yeah, I love that he doesn't take all of his characters. He, you know, HBD. Yeah, he's saving time. He's got people to cheer on. <laughs> the Philadelphia, what is it? The Flyers. Yeah. Have you also seen that there's a beautiful video of a little homemade gritty costume from like this little fan in the audience that's probably like five or seven years old. I don't have the gritty Google alerts like you do, Grace. I don't. It's just because <laughs> I've said that I like gritty, and now you guys oh, all tweet they all me tweet at it, and it's wonderful, and I love it because it is very fun. Oh yeah, he's uh, good peoples. Also, when you try to look up most popular food mascots in 2019 there's nothing present it's all like what were the best 25 stack mascots of all time i feel like this is a window that like closed a little bit and that that's why gritty is so popular because it's like he's just well i feel like we sound stoned and we're not even stoned i feel like the craver could definitely be like an uncle to gritty oh a hundred percent i don't know what what happens after we've recorded for 50 minutes but we get on yeah, this so is why we don't go after 40 minutes you guys because nothing is guranteed after 40 minutes we're talking about who's related to gritty uh <laughs> who would the craver have to fuck to make gritty happen but uh, oh oh that's a good call i mean gritty does have a very cookie monster body also like wendy's like little went like when like you if, think little wendy's gonna Fuck no, no, the Ad- no! If adult Wendy, <laughs> adult Wendy, fuck that honeycomb, fuck <laughs> like that's they what, would make gritty. First of all, that's what I just said, and you said no. Oh wait, I missed that. You Wendy's Wendy- like the human from the yeah. drive-through. You think Dave would allow that? Where's Dave? <laughs> he's busy. <laughs> he's doing. So- he's being the Colonel Sanders. He's moonlighting oh my God, as the you Colonel. Think he's- <laughs> Yeah. You think he's going yeah. as the Colonel Sanders? He's doubling down. Holy that, shit. He's also working for Burger King as a double down. <laughs> <laughs> that was KFC, but I like that wordplay. <laughs> I like that wordplay. <laughs> you guys, we're going to get the fuck off of here because we are not making any goddamn sense. Um, it's I, our birthday weeks. So we're yes. both allowed. It's yes. fine. By the time you hear this, we have both have had birthdays. Grace is on her way to go glamping tomorrow. Well, I'm going to Vegas and then I'm going glamping. So get ready for nice. the best and the worst in whatever order that happens. I can't wait to hear all about it. And yeah. also, because we haven't in a while, patreon.com slash this might get weird. Yeah. It's very fun. Come join the party. Also, I'm making a very concerted effort to try and post there at least every other day. Okay. Like just something yeah, that's like good. talking, adding any sort of conversation because... I, I'm I'm bad at it. So we miss you over there. I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this got weird. This got weird.